Join me on this episode of Tech Ventures with Lizina, where I show you how to get up and running out of the box with the Companion Board, a development platform designed by our System Design Center that features wireless radios, sensors, and power components from ST Microelectronics, Panasonic, and Sincerion. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lizina, and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer at Future Electronics. If you're interested in checking out previous episodes, then please click the link on the screen or check out the description box below. A lot of you have emailed me asking how to set up the board and how to get started. I will walk you through that process today. As the companion board is designed to be a companion board to work with ST Micro's ST Win Sensor Tile Wireless Industrial Node Development Kit, you will need to order that separately. Keep your board to the side, we will need it shortly. And now let's get the hardware ready on the companion board. Uh, bring out your ST-Win eval kit, make sure that it's not connected to anything, make sure the ST-Link V3 Mini is not connected to the PC. Connect the ST-Link V3 Mini programmer debugger board to the ST-Win connector using a flat cable like so. If you're planning to use Wi-Fi to connect to the cloud, then connect the ST-Eval ST-Win WF-V1 module to the pin connector. Make sure there's a jumper installed on the ST-Eval ST-Win on pin one to two. Pin one is the farthest from the board. Bring out the Campagno board now. Make sure it is not powered or connected to anything else. Make sure there is a jumper installed on the Campagno board's 3-pin header on pins 1 to 2 to select the ST Mod Plus board as the power source. Connect the Sincerion CO2 sensor, SCD30, to the Campagno board at this connection using the provided jumper wires. The connection is pin to pin and only five connections are required. This will leave the last two pins unconnected on the CO2 sensor. Next, connect the particulate matter sensor. The kit comes equipped with two, the Panasonic and the Sincerion one. I'm going to use the Panasonic one today. I'm just going to leave this to the side over here and next we will connect the GNSS antenna to the SMA connector like so. If you would like to do the cloud demo then you will need the NimbleLink Skywire modem Install the SIM card over here. Install the cell modem onto the Campagno board through the interface like so. Change the jumper setup on the Campagno board's 3-pin header in order to short pin 2-3 to three to select the external as the power source. Now we'll connect the cellular antenna to the U.FL connector on connection X1. Now we can finally connect these two together. Connect the USB cable from the PC to the ST-Win board, the ST-Link V3 Mini, and the companion board. The LEDs from here, here, and over here will light up. Now we need to do the software setup. For this section, please make sure you have installed STM32Q Programmer software. Open it. If you don't have it, I'll put the link in the description box below, and you can download it from there. Download the latest demo firmware binary file from the DC engine, or ask your future electronics representative for the file. Select the Open File tab.
Browse to select the firmware binary file companio.bin and click Open. Connect to the appropriate COM port and then select the download button. Verify that the programming was successful. And once you have done so, click disconnect. Now we've successfully set up our Companion board. Next, open a terminal emulator program of your choice. My choice for today is TerraTurn. Go into the setup and select terminal. Make sure you have auto for the new line receive, and then go into the serial port settings and enter the settings like so. Make sure you have one transmit delay and the program should start automatically. If it doesn't, you can always hit reset on the board. And now you're ready to enter your commands and begin development. If you would like to learn more about which commands to use, then please watch my previous videos. If you want to learn more about the Companion Board or any of the wireless radios that were mentioned today, then please contact your local Future Electronics representative or visit us at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Tick Ventures with Lizina.